Welcome to All Things Internet. I am your host, Rachel Ballinger. This is the show where we talk about things we see on the internet that usually have to do with the internet, but we don't fact check or research anything except the last couple times because I felt things needed to be double checked before I said them. My co-host today is my co-host that's all of the days, my mother. Say hi, mom. Hi. How you doing? Doing good. How are you? I'm trucking along. I've been running a lot to get out aggression and stress. So yes. I'm up to about two miles a day, which is Woo! very impressive for me. How you doing? What have you been um, doing? Tell me things. Just doing things. Just doing, doing things. All the things. All of them. That's a lot. All you, the things. Can you do me a favor? I forgot to have you do this before we started. Move your camera down a little bit. There it is. <laughs> I was distracted before we started. There you go. Oh, are you covering up your testicles? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Mom, this is a family-friendly show. We have sponsors I know. today. Okay. Oh, but I'm going to sponsor myself real quick. I oh. haven't done a merch plug all week uh, for reasons, but all things internet, this is our shirt. People are starting to get the merch. People I'm are starting not. To get... I ordered it. It's coming. I'm waiting. Calm down. It'll probably get here this week, but people are starting to get things. So someone got a broken mug. I apologize. I have oh, no. nothing to do with returns or shipping. So please contact uh, Fanjoy. They should have a contact button somewhere on Fanjoy's site. So yeah. that's all I have to say about that. Mom, it was up to you to find out the holidays of today. Go for it. It is World Oceans Day. World's oceans, not to be confused with the moon's oceans. It is the world's oceans. How many are there? There's four, six, four. No, there's more. Five, seven? I'm how going on to the best friend's day. Wait, I want to know how many oceans there are. <laughs> there's how many the, oceans are there? There's the Pacific. There's the Atlantic. There's five. Here's what five. I, found. I was close. Same again. In the world. I don't know. The the Why is she still talking? The Indian Ocean, oh. the Southern Ocean. I don't know, but you have a British man talking. <laughs> I don't like the regular story. I like the British man. The Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean. Words are hard. The Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, the Southern Ocean. I've never heard of the Southern Ocean. I've never heard of the Southern Ocean. And the is Arctic Ocean. Okay, I think I was right in that there's only four. Because <laughs> the Southern Ocean? Who are That's you? That's what it says, the Southern Ocean. Oh, well. All right. I believe oh, it. All it's right. It's also Best Friends Day. Happy Best Friends Day, best friend. Happy Best Friends Day, best friend. Oh, I love you. <laughs> it's also Upsy Daisy Day. Upsy Daisy? You turn everything upsy daisy. So positive attitude. You turn a negative into a positive. I don't think I've ever it's heard. It's a great day. Upsy Daisy. Maybe you feel like you're lifting like a kid up. Upsy Daisy is you like put them on a counter. But, but I've heard what? oops a daisy. Oops a daisy. No, this is upsa daisy. Wednesday is a really great day. When's what's when I don't know what Wednesday is. National Ice Tea Day. Oh my God. <laughs> Which again. goes along with goes along with Thursday. Oh, National there. Porn on the Cob Day. How does that go along? Because they're two southern. Of things. They're two of your favorite things. And then Friday is a national loving day. Come on. We Come got on. stuff. But you didn't mention what today is. The day we're filming this, which is Sunday, which is your anniversary. I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Happy like, anniversary wait, to you and I, dad. I didn't look up today's. <laughs> well, it, how long has it been? 40 years? 40 years. God. Woman. <laughs> yes. That's a lot of years. That's a lot of years. Did you, you got, I saw you got your drawn card from dad. My dad hand draws cards on special occasions. They're always my favorite thing. I still own my card. For, he gave me from my high school graduation. Yeah. So be, oh my God. So many kids got cars for graduation in my neighborhood. That's, Whoa. And I don't li like, I live in a good neighborhood, but not like a classy high snooty tooty up so daisy. <laughs> but yeah, there was about three kids that got cars. I think parents are making are like, up for. <laughs> yeah, they're like you. Or my mom is like, it's sad here. Let's get a thing. So that's how I think parents are responding. 
what well, one kid it was their birthday slash graduation so they got oh, a brand yeah. new new car another Whoa. kid got a new used car which is just as freaking amazing hey. used hey. car they hey. work only one of my cars in my life has been brand new and it was a stupid purchase. My truck was a stupid purchase. I love my truck though, but all my other cars have been used. My, I think I'm going to get a used Mazda, uh, CX five used cars make sense. If Our, you get ours are used. Yeah. So no, Wait, hate. I think we had two brand new cars in our whole lifetimes of those 40 years. And you barely and... remember it. <laughs> no, I remember them. Our first okay. one was a little Honda CR X, I don't know, a Honda something, some little tiny Honda car, brand new. We were idiots. We walked into the dealership and said, yeah. we want that one. <laughs> and he's like, okay. And we paid full sticker price. Oh, mom. Dumb 20 year olds who knew nothing. Oh, mother, mother, yes. mother. Yes. All right. See, we you're learned. letting us. Yeah. And yeah. now you're telling the world. And you're letting the world learn from your mistakes. Yeah, we learned. Don't buy sticker. Unless you go to CarMax. That's their whole thing. Well, those are new cars, too. Oh, oh used cars. They're used cars, yeah. But this it is a brand new car. Okay. Yeah, CarMax is the only place where it's like, it's sticker. That way there's no haggling. There's no yeah. nothing. It's just sticker. And then you're done. Um, yeah. But every other car place, you, you got to you gotta negotiate. Oh, I hate that part. Uh, all right. Okay. But yeah. Are you guys doing anything for your anniversary? We're alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a lot. That's great. I'm glad. You know what's also great, Mom? Tell me, Rachel. Our sponsor for today, which is Best Fiends. Yes, that is right. This episode is sponsored by Best Fiends. Guys, I'm on level 1,598 right Would now. You would you like to know what level I'm on, Rachel? I would love to know. Do you have it up? I do. 520. <gasps> Girl, you're going to catch me, uh, catch up to me one day. I've no, been you trying. Won't. You can't because I keep playing it, so you'll never so catch up. You can try, though. You can try. It's but fun. For, for those of you who don't know what Best Fiends is, it's a casual, fun mobile puzzle game. And it has challenging puzzles, a fun storyline, cute little characters to collect, and it engages your brain. Anyone can play of any age. Uh, it's completely free to download. And it also doesn't require internet to play. So you can download it and then play whenever, wherever. And also uh, you can spend as little or as much time as you want. You can hop in, play for a minute, or you can play for several hours, which I've done on multiple occasions. It's great. Uh, I personally like to focus on making my characters grow bigger so that the puzz puzzles are easier to solve and the slugs are easier to defeat. So engage your brain with fun puzzles and collect tons of cute characters. Trust me, with over 100 million downloads, this five-star rated mobile puzzle game is a must-play. So download Best Fiends free on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. All right. You want to get into the news today? Let's do it. Let's get this news done. <laughs> Sorry to inconvenience you with the news, mother. Well, it's harder to, harder to find good news. Well, but good thing we have upsy downsy day or whatever that. Upsy daisy day. Yeah. Well, I decided the protests have been happening for two weeks now. This mm -hmm. it marks two weeks. So instead of focusing on all the bad things that's happened during the protest, I'm going to try and find some of the good things that have been happening. Oh, good. I found okay. one, but let's that's, see if you cover it too. That's what we did with COVID as well. So this yeah. is, we all know there's an issue. We've chosen sides. I've drawn a line in the sand with my friends. I've unfollowed people on the instance in the face, Facebook. Sorry, I don't know why I decided to shorten that. But so let's talk about some good things. Okay. Um, I mean they're not good but it's like the things the protests have been happening the four officers involved in Flo uh, george floyd's death have been arrested and charged mm -hmm. louisville mayor suspends the no knock warrants uh when brianna taylor oh by the way brianna taylor it would have been her 27th birthday last week happy birthday brianna taylor um but louisville decided to do to suspend the no knock warrants because that's what happened in her death is they had the wrong house and they didn't knock it just barged in when someone barges in your house, you defend your house. Yeah. So that's what happened. So they suspended the no-knock warrants. 
Two cops uh, have been fired when they randomly dragged a couple out of a car and started tasing them. Uh, many conf- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and here I have one. Jeez. Yeah, there's well, there's a lot. Uh, many Confederate monuments and statues have been removed or planned to be removed. We don't need those statues of celebrating when the slaveriness was a slaveriness. You're right. Uh, California prosecutors have launched a campaign to stop the DAs from accepting police union money. So the people that are supposed to like mm. be in charge of, you know, making sure the checks and balances are there are being paid by the people that are supposed to be checking and balancing. That doesn't make sense. So that's a good thing. The Louisville police chief has been fired after the shooting of David McC- McCaddy. I haven't said his name out loud before, but I should um, at his barbecue joint. Six abusive officers are charged for violence against residents and, pro- and protesters in Atlanta, Georgia. One officer fired to, uh, because he was tweeting promoting violence against protesters in Denver, Colorado. This one I loved that I, I'm glad I read this. The U.S. Army told the soldiers to disobey any orders to attack peaceful protesters. Good. I, I, have, I always wanted to be a Marine. I've always had this urge oh, yeah. to like it's in our family. <laughs> it's in our family. Um so I've always had like the army and the marines have always had a special place in my heart. I don't know like just as part of me. Um so I really love that the army was like don't you do it. <laughs> you go you go out there you can be there but don't yeah. you dare fight American citizens. And I was like, "Thank yeah. you. Thank you." Who oh my battery on my phone successfully charged. That's good news. The two Buffalo cops who shoved a seven-year-old man to the ground, Ugh. cracking his head open, have been charged. 75-year-old. 75-year-old. Did I didn't read. Did he make it or not? He did. Okay. He, yeah, I saw conflicting it. things on that, and so I didn't want to say. serious. Serious, but yes. he's, he's alert. He's Okay, he's, good. Good. Uh, people who've donated. K-pop, the K- K-pop group BTS donated a million dollars. Jennifer Aniston donated a million dollars and Kanye West donated two million dollars. So there we go. The Rock posted a very deep video on Instagram. It's titled, Where Are You? And he basically asked, Where are where is our leader? And uh then, you know, basically it was calling out Trump. It was a very well put together thing, and I was t- <laughs> I'm one of those people that when someone gives a good speech, I'm like, are they reading it? Is this memorized? Are they reading it? And I'm like watching his eyes the whole time. I think that was just from his heart. I don't think he was reading something. Mm. I've always liked The Rock, and I've only heard good things about him, and I know people who have worked with him personally. Uh, I like to to know (laughs) know famous people's real personalities. Yeah, who they really are. Yeah, and I've only heard great things about him. So just so everybody knows. But basically in it, he says, we must become the leaders we're looking for. And I think it was very inspirational. Matt and I have talked about this, this movement, this, you know, this whole thing needs a a leader, like someone to be like, okay, guys, we're going to do this. And this is what we're demanding. A very clear cut. This is what we want. Uh, And it needs to be like one calm voice. And we don't have, like, it doesn't have that yet. And so I I like that The Rock was like, we need to be that leader. We all need to do it. So I really liked his his little uh, video. And then one awesome thing that I loved is Yelp is adding a new tool to easily search for Black-owned businesses. Now, this is because everyone was searching, yeah. like, Black-owned restaurant, <laughs> Black-owned clothing store. Yeah, let's because, support that. Yeah, Yeah, because I was like, oh, I want to buy some Black Lives la- la- Black Lives Matter. Wow, my tongue. Black Lives Matter merchandise. So I went on Etsy and I was like, wait, come on. You need to buy it from the black entrepreneurs on this site. And I couldn't figure out, like, it was really hard to figure out which site was owned by a Mm. black person versus just a huge company or, you know, anybody. So I was searching Black Lives Matter things, and then if I liked something, I'd go and had to see who owned the site and who was making this stuff. And I was like, uh-huh. there needs to, like, it sounds, like, terrible to be like, I need to know the race of the person who owns this company. Yeah. But I was trying to support the black entrepreneurs. Right. And, like, one of the big things right now is, like, buy from their businesses, support them. And so I'm trying to, but you're making it hard to do, people. Because all of the checks and balances to be, like, you know, colorblind and, you know, equally, but, like, at that has a fault to it, but I'm really glad that Yelp has added that so people can, cause we're like, 
Matt and I talked about like we should go to a black owned restaurant or something, but we don't we don't know who owns restaurants. <laughs> we don't right. know who does that. So shout out to Yelp for doing that. All right. Did you see okay, so on Tuesday, Blackout Tuesday happened. Yes. People were very confused as to it and what it does and who's woozies and whoopsie daisies. So <laughs> Blackout Tuesday originally was started by the music industry because without black culture the music in- industry wouldn't be anything like it is today like mm-hmm. that's 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 theirs basically so the music industry decided we're okay we're gonna do blackout tuesday we're not gonna stream stuff or if we do stream stuff it's only from black artists we're gonna let our businesses take a hit to promote black voices yeah and so everyone else saw this and they're like oh same 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 okay we're doing this yes same and like everyone's very like okay we have to do something guys like everyone's very like okay what's the next thing what's the next what's the next petition where's the next place to donate who's the next number to call what do i text everyone's very like i got it i i want to do it i want to get on the next thing so yeah. everyone's like okay blackout tuesday we're doing it too <laughs> and but no one knew exactly at the start monday night like everyone decided this but no one quite knew what it was like what the point of this was and so people were like wait guys we can't and it at first it was like, okay, so none of us are going to post. And then we we're like, wait, no, the si- we've been yelling at people not to be silent. And then all of a sudden we want to say we're all going to go silent. So then it was like, okay, so we're all going to post black squares to show we support the Black Lives Matter, but then only post about uh, the Black Lives Matter stuff and nothing personal for Tuesday. And I was like, okay, that's good. We're- so the only things you're allowed to post on Tuesday, or you should to show your support is only things that have to do with the movement and the protests and things like that. And then everyone started posting the black squares, but then using the hashtag hashtag black lives matter. I am at fault for this as well. And then people were like, wait, now when you search the hashtag to find info, it's It's just a bunch of black squares. (laughs) So everyone's like, okay, erase that. Don't do that. Don't do that. It was a mess. Spell it out. <laughs> Spell or it out or use it. hashtag blackout Tuesday. Yeah. And then I saw people, it bugged me. So everyone was like really wanting to like, you know, be one, you know, right. be a unit and, you know, show solidarity. But everyone was very confused because it was thrown together very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> and there was no leader. So I was just going to say, because yes. there was no leader. <laughs> yes. So there was no uh, was leader. Find rules and yeah. yes. So that's, that's why it's like that leader is needed for things, you know? Yeah. So when someone comes up with something like this, it needs to be like, here is what we're doing. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so that was, <laughs> that was a thing that happened. Eventually people kind of figured it out, but then I got so annoyed. I'd see people post the square and hashtag black lives matter. And then immediately start posting normal pics of like their life oh. and their day. No, I'm like, no, wait, no, 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 you missed it. You missed yeah. it. You missed the reasoning. You missed the thing. So it's not just you post a square and oop, you did it. That's yeah. That was my participation for the day. It was it was uh, it was a mess. <laughs> but, but people tried and they cared yes. and they wanted to yeah. And I so. think it did show solidarity and yes. it did show like, hey, we're like, we we want to be a part of this. Yeah. And it did make it so the Instagram wasn't your escape for the day. Instagram right. was very much, you went on and you saw black squares or things about the protests and rarely you would see something about someone's day or whatever. Yeah. So, oh, my microphone is about to fall. Give me one second. Oh, goodness. One second. She's fixing it. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. Oh, my. Hi, microphone. <laughs> All right, so Blackout Tuesday. Sorry, we're going into the sponsor, so I had to come back. (laughs) So Blackout Tuesday was very confusing. But you know what's not confusing, Mom? What, Rachel? The instructions in your HelloFresh boxes. That's right. That leads us to our next sponsor today, which is HelloFresh. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit service, and my mom's just favorite service ever maybe hello goodness <laughs> so good so good hello fresh is delicious and offers many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut 
It saves you time and saves you from stress. HelloFresh offers contactless delivery to your doorstep for easy home cooking with the family. It's flexible and fits your lifestyle, so you keep your fridge stocked by adding extra proteins or sides like garlic bread to your weekly order. Who doesn't want some good garlic bread as a side? I'd never turn down garlic bread in my life. It's also easy to change your delivery days or food preferences or skip a week whenever you need. Feeding the whole family has never been easier with larger box sizes for more servings and more savings. HelloFresh is committed to giving back. Uh, They are making fresh, delicious food available now more than ever, and they have taken extra steps to keep employees and customers safe. They have also donated over 2.5 million meals to charity in 2019, and this year is stepping up their food donations. Love that. Love a company that gives back. So if you want to get some good food that with easy instructions delivered straight to your door contactlessly, that's such a hard word for me to say, (laughs) (laughs) go to hellofresh.com forward slash 60 all things internet and use code 60 all things internet to get $60 off your first three weeks, including free shipping on your first box. Additional restrictions apply. Please visit HelloFresh.com for details. So that is HelloFresh.com forward slash six zero sixty six zero. All things internet. Sixty dollars off your first three weeks. There you go. Sounds good. Sounds well, it also tastes good. That doesn't just than, sound good, Mom. It better tastes than good. good. Better than good. Who are you throwing a pillow at this time? What are you doing? He's talking to Trent. I know, but what did you say? I wasn't looking. <laughs> I wanted him to turn the fan off. It... Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, in other news. Yes. Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram all removed a Trump campaign video over copyright complaints. Because in his video, he used someone else's footage. He put the officers, the murder of George Floyd in his campaign thing. And the person wow. who filmed it was like, I never gave you permission to use that footage. So they all, all of the platforms deleted the campaign video. That's me clapping for them. Thank you for that. All right. In completely has nothing to do with anything except maybe a little bit news. Leah Michelle from Glee. Do you, uh, the star from Glee? Yeah. Girl played Rachel. She posted a thing as a Black Lives Matter tweet or whatever. Not whatever, but you know, she posted a thing. And then a black female co-star from the show called her out publicly on Twitter and basically was like, you made my life like unbearable during my TV debut on that show. And you told people if given the chance you'd poop in my wig. Now, one thing, if you don't know, you don't mess with the wig or the hair of a black female. So that was a very degrading and just terrible human comment to make about anybody. So Leah Michelle had well, to issue an apology just because she was a threat because she was so talented or because she was black. If doesn't, well, matter. doesn't matter, but, but. <laughs> uh, apparently through the grapevine, I've heard from people who've worked with her, or if you've just known anyone that worked with her, she's kind of a nightmare to work with. Uh. So I think it's, she just was terrible to all people, but then decided to make a terrible comment about the fact that she wore yeah. a wig. So that does make it racial. Yep. Like girl. So she had to issue an apology and it's like, I've taken these last few months to fair to like, look at myself. I'm like, okay, I hope you did, but I don't believe you. Uh- <laughs> Well, let's just think she did. Let's, let's hope, hope she, she did. did. I always hope for growth and change. There's always room always for change and growth. Yeah. Uh, so remember last week how we talked about how Jake Paul was with people who were looting, yes. looting and rioting, yes. but he said I wasn't a part of it. But then we said you were there, bro. You were there. Man. You were there. Well, he has been charged with two counts of misdemeanor or something, whatever. To mis- how many, how many. Uh What is it called? <laughs> Hold on. A misdemeanor? Yeah. Misdemeanor crimes. Two misdemeanor crimes for being a part of it. Um, he didn't get arrested, but he has been summoned to court and he's being charged. So there's a difference between, you know, a cop showing up and arresting you. Association. Yes. And he's like, I didn't loot a riot. So, and I'm sure that boy can afford the lawyers of the lawyers of the lawyers. But so, he knew it was happening and he went there for the purpose of filming, filming it. And yeah. And hoping like, to get something. Yeah. 
So he did get charged. And uh, so there's that. All right. I've seen a few stories of people going and just posing. Have you seen those? Like one girl said, oh, can I hit the hammer? Because she this guy was boarding up his store. And he's like, sure. And so they took a few pictures of her. And then she goes, thanks. And it was for her Instagram. Yeah. People are terrible. They're doing that. Or just going terrible. to. Terrible. Walking for a second and then leaving. Holding up a just, sign near the people. Footage, it wasn't yeah. like they really cared. or No, they just want to publicly no, look like they care. Don't. don't no. Don't, yeah. Don't. So. All right, we have two more things to talk about. One is Apple grant uh, Apple got granted a patent for software that lets you take a socially distant group selfie. So basically, all of your friends can take a picture in a different place, and it will put all of your pictures together to make it look like you're hanging out. <laughs> the world that we live in, 2020, I tell you, is something else. And then the last thing is, but then it looks like you're breaking the rules. Well, then you could you could I'm sure there's you could say whatever you want. I don't know. If you want to make it look like you're together or you could put socially distant selfie on it. I don't know. Okay. All right. This last topic has nothing to do with anything, but it is dark. Oh, sorry, mom. There's no escape and there shouldn't be. All right. Have you heard of Micah? I don't know how to say her last name. Stauffer? 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 Micah? Micah? No. She is a YouTuber slash Instagram influencer where she focuses on cleaning and looking perfect all of the time. She has a couple of kids of her own. And then three years ago, she adopted a little boy with disabilities from China and named him Huxley. (laughs) They later learned that he has nonverbal autism and he had some violent tendency. Mind (laughs) you, he's four. So obviously there's a lot of work and patience that needs to go into raising him and helping him and teaching him right for wrong children with disabilities it's obviously has more obstacles yeah but you know that's life and they they knew that he had some sort of disability when they adopted him they wanted to adopt a kid with disabilities okay but they didn't know exactly what it was yet because he was one he is now four Mm -hmm. well they decided to get rid of him no they got rid of him they called it rehoming. Is and that supposed to make it better? Apparently. Um, so they, for like, they got, they, he left the house. He was, I don't know Little the words kid. to use. How did you use the words to t- say you got rid the, of a child? They gave him up. They gave him up. And well, that sounds like, I don't know. I don't like that. I don't like any of the things. They, they abandoned him. They abandoned him. And they hid it for like a month. And then their dedicated viewers, because he was used prominently in all her posts to be like, look, I adopted a Chinese boy with disabilities. I'm so great. And like constantly like showed him off in the videos and the pictures and posed and was like, it's been so hard, but I wouldn't give him up for anything. Literally a week before she did. That was something she posted. She used him for brand deals. And also they were like, we'll tell you his name once our donation box gets to a certain amount of money like whoa it was they used him for to for their looks and money okay and then when it they said what did they say hey snoop stop whining i'm sorry (laughs) uh they said that they he had more disabilities than they were aware of when they adopted him that happens even if you yeah and it was like yeah so my thing is you do not adopt. Hey, Snoop, hold on a second. <laughs> Snoop, stop it. He has never used the doggy door in his life. And he's supposed to be in here with me because Matt's power washing the backyard right now. So the dogs have to stay inside. And so I have the doggy door closed. He's never used the doggy door. And he's learning how to get the lock off of the doggy door. And he's never even used the doggy door to begin with. Snoop, chill. Maybe bro. he has to go potty. I, well, we're almost done. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So the internet's obviously outraged. The police have been called. Child Protection Services have called. They did an investigation. Huxley, did they have other children? They have other children that there are biological kids. Listen, if you're going to adopt a kid. Oh, my God, Snoop. Okay, we have to take a pause real quick. Okay, pause. All right, sorry, guys. The dogs come before all else. Just like your children should. Don't adopt unless you're going to treat that child as if it 
case, like there's no difference between your biological and your adopted None. children. That's just None. flat out how it is. And don't adopt if you're going to think differently. Like just yeah. like you wouldn't get rid of your kid if they had a disability. Right. Don't you can't get rid of an adopted kid if they had a disability. Now, that being said, I'm really glad because this kid is now with a family. They did an investigation. Cause it was like really like secret, like what happened to this kid? Everyone's like, where did he go? Is he in like the foster Whoa. system? Rachel, can you hold on for a sec? Yes. Sorry. Okay. We're back. That was hard and confusing. My sister called my mom and all things just went crazy. Uh, what we're talking about. Oh yeah. Don't Maybe adopt not- a kid. Okay. So anyway, an investigation went on to be like, where is this kid? We have to find this kid to make sure everything was, you know, okay. So the authorities looked into it. He did get, she, they found a family, uh, a, a woman who is trained in things such of this manner. And he is now in their household. Good. Um, so I'm glad this kid is in a place where he is going to be loved and given the attention and the patience he's, he needs and the resources he's getting the resources he is obviously that's a good thing but these people should never well one there's there's there a ban against adoption list because they need to be on it just like these people should never be able to adopt again because they're clearly don't go in with the right mindset right and there was a thing like after they adopted they named him huxley after they adopted huxley a year later that she went on a, a a facebook group and was like uh, thinking about adopting again, is there any, do you guys know of any like, uh, disabilities that people think are hard to deal with, but are actually really easy to deal with? Like she wanted a kid with disabilities Wow. that people it's thought not gonna you know, it wasn't actually life. hard. Yeah, no, yeah. it's easy. It's easy. Like they're clearly doing everything for looks and it's, it's disgusting. Like, don't go in, don't adopt because you want people to think that you're a good person. Right. You adopt because you want a kid and you want to change this kid's life and you want to be, you want to love a kid and you just, you want to be a good parent. Yeah. And don't do it if you have the mindset where if it doesn't work out, you can get rid of it. It's so gross. No returns. No, no returns. returns. No returns. Again, I'm glad this kid is in a, a proper household now. Yeah. But he should have never been adopted by this family in the first place. Right. And she has deleted his existence from all of her Instagrams and any video where he was the main focus, which is gross but good at the same time because she was making money on those things. Yeah. And now she can't make money off of him anymore. And a lot of people were like, any money he made her should go to him. Back to him. Yeah. Back to him. Because that's one yeah. that's one thing about kids being on YouTube channels is like, well, the kids benefit from it because, you know, the parents get paid and then they get things, you know, toys and food and clothing and a house. But this kid doesn't get anything anymore because. And well, they, now he's getting love. Yeah. They duct taped his thumbs down when he was sucking his thumbs too much. They covered his hands in duct tape at mm. one point. No. Mm. No. 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 Mom, you said you had me, you wanted me to define words. That's all the news. So did you want me to yeah. define some words? I found some fun words and I thought, I wonder if Rachel knows what these mean. All right. Because I me. did not. Hit them. Hit me with them. Hornswoggle. Hornswoggle? Hornswoggle. I know hornswoggle. Well, I don't know it, but I've heard it. Okay. Tell me what you think it is. Hornswoggle. I don't know. <laughs> I've heard it, but I don't know what it is. To trick or bamboozle. Oh, you hornswoggled me. Okay. How about now I'll probably say I'm wrong. Satutery. Satutery? Mm-hmm. Satutery. Yeah. Satutery. To talk like you know everything. I don't no. know. No. No, it's like a gazebo, a summer house. <laughs> right? I've never heard that word in my life. That's a rich person word. Okay. How about <laughs> pendiculation? Pendiculation? Yeah. You do this every morning. Pendiculation? Mm-hmm. Sometimes you do it at night. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. It's when you stretch and yawn. It made me yawn. <laughs> You're pendiculationing. I do that but 60 you, times a day. But you got to stretch when you do it. All right. Two wanna... more. Oh, I'm losing this game. Spoonerism. Spoonerism? 
Yeah. To, to eat with a spoon. <laughs> no. It's to transpose the first two letters of two words. Like if you'd said, well, like my maiden name, Gwen Trent, and you'd say Tren Gwent. Because you Oh, to you know you, you like go blow the, your nose, go like know your blows. Pobody's nerfect. Nobody's exactly. perfect. Okay, got it. You don't do it on purpose. It just kind of happens. Okay. And, oh gosh. Extemporaneously. This is our podcast. Uh, we do it extemporaneously. Badly. No! <laughs> it's spoken or done without preparation. Oh, come on! I do a little preparation. You do. You do. It's not That's dead all. well. <laughs> That's it. All right. We got some questions. Luidia right. says, Gwen, did you watch and enjoy the shows that the kids watched when they were younger? Did you watch shows with us? No, you didn't. Uh, not with you. <laughs> I was too busy by then. Um, probably when we let Christopher watch, we watched with him. You know, first time parent. Yeah, you were more involved and protective. And I, then when I came I around, was, you're like, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> I was into Sesame Street. Yeah, we watched Sesame Street together, but I didn't watch the Lizzie Knows Best thing. Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire? How dare you? How but I did watch. How dare you? What's the other one? You know, in San Francisco. Full House. The, yeah, I watched that one. <laughs> so, yeah. No, you didn't. I don't remember you watching much with us. No. Like the TV was always on in our house, but you guys let us watch. Yeah. You know. It was like, oh, no, I can do the laundry. Or and if I you walk, if you walked in and it was a, there was a bad word, you'd say bad word. Bad word. Yeah. And then if the, you, if it kept happening in the same show, you'd be like, turn this off, go watch something else. And so or we, they were being really disrespectful. Yeah. There's a lot of Nickelodeon and Disney shows where they're like, my mom's a poopy head. And you're or like, my teacher or oh, my like, come on. Yeah. They no. were. They were being really rude to the authority figures. Yeah. Which didn't um, need to be. Some no. are poopy, but. It's just like kids think that vegetables are gross because everywhere as a kid, you're taught vegetables are gross. They're yummy. Vegetables are delicious. They are. Uh, Bianca asks, what f what's your favorite show you're currently watching? I just finished watching that Shevendi show. Uh, that aged not that well, mm. but. I watched it because I had nothing else to watch. Mom, are you watching anything right now? No, I watched a movie last night. That's gross. What'd you watch? Uh, Just Mercy with Jamie Foxx. That was pretty good. Never heard of it. I don't watch movies. It's a movie. That's, I don't have enough time to get invested into a storyline or a character. Sam asks, Gwen, how yeah. is it being able to visit Colleen during this time? It was great. It yeah. was Yep. And I can yeah. keep going back and that's good. Yeah. You and Flynn, best buddies. <laughs> we best were, we're buddies. Bud. Best buddies, man. He <laughs> loves you. Uh Jules asks, Rachel, do you still want to get butt crack surgery? So if you've been watched <laughs> Oh, your butt's perfect. Yeah, no. <laughs> Have a good tushy. If you have been watching for a long time or if you watched all of our older vlogs, I, me and Colleen used to discuss, discuss often how I always wanted to get butt crack surgery because I have a really long butt crack. It's, it's just perfect. a fact, but it was made worse by when low rise jeans yeah. were all of the rage. And now that I've switched to high waisted or super high waisted, sometimes a mid rise, but like, that's kind of trash. The, the concern about the crack isn't it's there gone. anymore. It's gone. So I don't need the butt crack surgery anymore. <laughs> as you, long didn't, as we... you didn't even need it. With I never rise. needed it. No. Hip uggers, um, we call there them. Was, there was nothing wrong with my body, and I felt I no. needed to find an imperfection. So that's what I focused on. The l length of my butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not uh, sat on that anymore. I'm good. <laughs> good. Allie asked, which side slash sides of TikTok are you on? Now, this confused me. I've seen several people ask, talk about the sides of TikTok. I didn't know what this meant. And I was like, the genre? Because there's genres of YouTube and Instagram. Like on YouTube, there's the gamers, the beauty vloggers, the daily vloggers, the family vloggers, the comedy, the testers. The You know, there's a huge array of genres on YouTube. And apparently, TikTok's decided to call it sides. And it's what pops up on your For You page. 
So basically, if you're, I don't know, the people, they've come up with weird names for it. So I'm just going to say what pops up on my feed. Right now, there's a lot of political stuff because that's just what I've been liking and seeing. So political stuff. Uh, a lot of animal things. And a few just random things. I don't get a lot of dances. Um, I always have to, like, go to Colleen's page to see what dances are going on. Right. Or Parker's. <laughs> or Parker's, yeah. <laughs> so I don't – I get political, some comedy people, and d animals. Mom, what do you get? I Lately, I don't know why. This is sad. I'm getting a lot of TikToks of people telling their stories of their babies passing away. It's like, why have oh! I do this? I don't like it, and I don't know how to get off that. Because I didn't oh. sign up for it. No, it just does it when based on what you've liked and why I haven't liked anything. That's but weird. Just, and it's like, <laughs> and I'm sad and I'm crying and it's like I don't. It's start it's search like chickens and dogs a bunch, and then that yeah. stuff will be the stuff that starts popping sure. up. You have to like train the algorithm. That's ugh. well, it's got That's a bad train on me yeah i'm glad those people are out there and telling their stories but like yeah it's sad you don't want it constantly one after oh. another when that's not what you signed up for i get right. that uh luidia says or says yeah there hasn't been much talk about the virus lately and any new cases announced thoughts yes there are new cases there are new cases The we it's taken the coronavirus has taken a back seat because there's a different virus that we're focusing on right now, which is racism. Mm. And so coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever you want to call it, is still very much alive and killing um, and infecting and ruining lives. The deaths have gone down, but there are still new cases. Yeah. Still rising. Um, the cases will go up the more testing we do. Mm -hmm. That's, that is math, but that doesn't, the, whatever. Um, but yeah, I think people are kind of forgetting. So if you do go to protests, wear your masks, yeah. you know, sanitize, wash your hands when you get home, just because things are opening up, doesn't mean you can go upside daisy freely, freely wheelie on everything. Please keep your distance. Please wear a mask. Please sanitize and wash your hands. Stay home if you can. Again, if you're going out and protesting, you know, wear masks, bring extra hand sanitizer, bring extra masks for people. Uh, be smart. And remember, this is still happening. We're fighting two huge things right now. Um, but one is versus, you know, people in a system. The other is a virus. So <laughs> stop us. You can't really protest a virus. <laughs> so that's what's happening. Um, yeah. All right. So all right. that's all I have today. I know it was it's not a happy go lucky podcast today. But you know what? The, the world isn't happy go lucky right now. So. We are, but thank you, Best Fiends and HelloFresh, for sponsoring us. <laughs> uh, Mom, do you have anything else to add? I do not. Oh, goodness gracious. Look how buff I am. That's what I have to well, add. I'm so buff. Me I'm too. I'm so buff. Me too. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I don't either. I love you, Mom. I love you. I can't wait to hug you. I'm telling you, put on a clean suit thing so I can hug you. My sprinkler guy didn't wear a mask, and it stressed me out. <laughs> Sprinkler guy. Sprinkler guy. All right. I love you. I love you. Take us out. We'll see you next time on All Things Internet. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of All Things Internet. Please make sure to like and follow our podcast on whichever platform you're currently listening to it on. And make sure to follow us at Podcast ATI on Twitter, where you can ask questions and get the latest updates on our show. We love you. Thanks for listening. I'm Rachel Ballinger. And this has been All Things Internet.